The loop at Forest Dunes is America's only reversible golf course, meaning that you can play the same 18 holes clockwise and counterclockwise, which begs the question, is this a gem or one giant gimmick? So what's going on golfers? Karsten here for today's video. We're diving into what it's like to play the loop in central Michigan. And spoiler alert, if this isn't on your golf course bucket list already, it needs to be. But before we begin, be sure to hit subscribe if you love golf and want to play the best courses. All right, let's dive in. The best place to start is what is a reversible golf course? Good question. It's 18 fairways and 18 greens in the shape of one big figure eight. One day you play the figure eight clockwise and then the next day you play in the reverse direction. For example, the first whole green on a Friday is actually the 17th whole green on a Saturday. So though Forest Dunes is comprised of 36 greens and fairways, it's actually home to three of Golf Digest's top 50 public courses in America. On most golf course reviews, the black course is ranked slightly higher than the red course, but I personally enjoyed playing the red course more. For context though, I played the red course as the reverse course, so certainly I admit to being blown away by the design as a contributing factor, and both are great. You might be asking yourself, since this is a reversible golf course, how do the tee boxes work? Also a good question. Rather than cutting and manicuring new tee boxes every day, the loop has little flags to signal where the tee box is, and as long as it's within two club lengths of the flag, you're good. Some may not like this, but personally, I find this super cool. The loop is link style golf at its finest. Open concept, very dry fairways, and super firm greens. This is great as 270 yard drives turn into 300 yard drives. So big hitters will have a lot of wedge shots in, but the flip side is that it's super difficult to hold greens. To even have a shot at holding a green, you have to shave off anywhere from 10 to 15 yards depending on the win. There were multiple times where I thought I hit the shot of the day only to find that my ball had rolled 20 feet off the back of the green. Even though it isn't very long, the loop is a really tough course especially if the wind picks up. There are three tee boxes, and I'd say if you're a seven handicap or above, there is no shame playing from the middle tees as the golf course is tough enough as is, especially for your first time out. I played with a guy who had played over 120 golf courses in America, including Tobacco Road and Arcadia Bluffs, and he said the loop was the toughest that he had ever played. The greens are lightning quick, with lots of movement, so it's very easy for three putts to add up, and unfortunately, I know this all too well. In regards to the amenities, there is an amazing practice area with a huge putting green, short game area, and grass range that includes the range balls. The loop also has a great clubhouse and patio with an awesome view of the other top 25 public course on the property, Forest Dunes. Now to the signature holes, which will be one of my most unique segments that I've done. Signature hole number one is whatever the first hole of the reverse course is. As you're getting ready to play the second course, you're wondering if this is a gimmick or if this really lives up to the hype. It doesn't and it won't click until you tee off on the reverse course and it truly does feel like you are playing a completely different golf course. On either day, the first hole is pretty straightforward and a par four with fairway bunkers that must be avoided, especially on the red course. Though each green is fairly large, it's tough to stick as both approach shots are uphill. I personally like the first hole of the red course more. My honorable mention is red number six and black number 13. On the red course, it's the shortest hole on the golf course. And on the black course, it's a longer par three being 225 yards from the back and 195 from the middle tees. This was the hole where I was most stunned that it was the same golf course because even though I played the same green and hole the day before, I truly couldn't remember which one it was. There is ample opportunity for trouble here with bunkers surrounding the green and due to the green's undulation, being on the right tier is absolutely critical. So let's talk about the value of playing at the loop. The pricing changes by the season. So May and June, you're looking at $115 during peak hours and $95 for midweek rounds with a twilight rate of $95 and $75. During the busy season, rates jump up to $160 during peak hours and $130 for midweek rounds with a twilight rate of $130 and 105. This also includes range balls and the cart fee. 
for the quality of the course and uniqueness of the experience, I would say the value is very fair, even though this is definitely a pretty penny, especially considering that you're playing each of the courses. With that said, one, remember this isn't your local municipal course and don't let the cost get in the way because this is truly a golf experience that you'll never forget and you won't be disappointed, take it from me. Now to my final review of the loop, factoring in the overall experience, signature holes, and the value, I give it a solid 9.3 out of 10. I know I keep repeating myself, but this course is a gem and truly one of the best courses to play in all of America. Even though it's the same land, it truly feels like you're playing two different golf courses. So be sure to add this to your golf course bucket list. What say you? I'm curious if you agree or disagree. Let me know with a comment down below. And also, I'm always looking for new courses to review. So let me know one of your favorites as well in the comments. So thanks again for watching. And as always, play well, my fellow hacks.